Right, hi everyone, and uh, welcome to all my 78 update. Uh, so this is an update. There's no record playing, apart from that little bit I just finished off listening to. Cheers, everyone, anyway. Hope you're all well. And, uh, yes, and it's a, it's a long weekend. It's a sad reason why it's a long weekend, but it is a long weekend. And uh, long weekends I do appreciate because, uh, well, it just gives me a bit more time to play around in the shed i've done some tidying up i've done some tidying up in the shed not that side so much but i have behind the camera where i store some of the 78s or a lot of the 78s where i am um, uh, uh, trying to sort out what i'm keeping what i'm not keeping and and uh and that is uh where i've started to make some progress shall we say mm. a little bit of dutch courage here hold on right i said in an earlier video that i've done something really bad and it might be it's not bad for me as it might be bad for some of my subscribers who might think to themselves oh no i wouldn't have done that <laughs> i've i've got to make space my 78s are all in this shed and it's uh it, it, the shed isn't that big i mean it's 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 not a huge shed and um i do need space to organize because i haven't can't once you get 78s and you start organizing you you realize you need empty shelves to put the stuff in like i've got a keeps i've got to be sorted which means i've got to do a list late night listening on <laughs> which oh late night listings will be coming back soon the weather has changed it's nice and cool i can shut the door now with the shed uh so, so at night time i can play 78s so and not disturb the neighbors because the shed is sort of sort of uh, soundproofed and um uh weatherproofed type thing it's got a lot of rock wall all around it that thick it was, it was that thick the rock wall i had to impress some of it a little bit to get it into the uh into the walls but it is that thick it was that thick and rock wall is the best best stuff for soundproofing and for keeping the weather out and i really i've had no problems at all people say to me say oh having your 78s in the shed in the winter time they'll get ruined or this that and the other no 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 the shed is perfectly perfect it's dry there's no condensation not well hardly any condensation whatsoever I've, I've not really had any problems of condensation since i rock walled the whole shed it cost 200 pounds exactly 200 pounds to do that it's not cheap stuff but it's well worth it and it took me a few months to to buy a bit here and a bit there to do it anyway that's not what this is about i'm going off the subject here <laughs> because maybe i don't want to talk about it <laughs> well not to you <laughs> But I do need to talk about it uh, because, well, I try to be honest. Um, and one of the honest things about this this uh, this channel, and I'll be honest with you, I'm surprised that uh, I've managed to achieve 540, just over 540 subscribers on this channel. And if you had told me that that would be the case when I first started, opened this channel, I would have said, no way, no one's going to be interested in this channel but i have tried to evolve the channel since i very first started and and to to, to change it uh to a 78 channel which to be honest I, and i've said this many times to you guys i am not an expert in 78 rpm records or jazz i'm not an expert i'm just a very lowly uh, enthusiast that's all i'm just an enthusiast so uh and my way why i i i do the channel the way i do is because i'm not an expert i don't want people really thinking that i'm an expert because i'm not so it's i tend to try and think that this channel is more an entertainment channel for 78 rpm records rather than the strict 78 rpm uh, um channel where you can get heavy into uh heaviness like mr porter does it's a very heavy man <laughs> but uh and he's a good chap he is a good chap he is a good chap although we do have our differences we have our differences 
he likes organ music and I hate it <laughs> among other types of music which a lot of you guys like as well I must admit but I, I don't so you know the type of music I play I play I only I mainly only upload stuff that I like uh, and a lot of channels have said to me oh you should upload everything because you know you, you, you I said, no no it's not how I work this is this is my fun. This is my relaxation. Is 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 sitting here in this chair talking to you guys, but uploading my 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 seventy uh, eights that I really like. You know that I think, oh, that's nice. I want to play that. Or you know, or lately we've had some late night sessions, late night sessions of just doing my very favourite uh, or nearly my very favourite seventy <laughs> eights. But let's get to the point. Let's get to the point. I did something really bad. For some of you, and for some of you, you might say, well, that's fine, that's fine. We'll see in the comments, shall we? <laughs> if it gets that far. I had to clear some 78s out. So I had a couple of collections, and I've still got a couple of collections that might still have to go. Uh, I had to clear some out because I needed the space, and I cleared a load of stuff out, stuff that you, it wouldn't matter it's just a normal rubbishy Mario Lanzo tenors, organ players, Hawaiian stuff, and uh, piano playing uh, gigolos or whatever. <laughs> That's probably the wrong word, but you know what I mean. I just stuff that I just I don't like at all. I won't listen to it. And there's no point in having it on the shelves. Might as well give it to somebody else who enjoys it. But there were two artists that I know that some people will be unhappy with that I got rid of and that accumulated on top of what I already got rid of which was a probably about altogether about 678s went out the door about three weeks ago but in that uh, 678s was two artists one which I did actually did a, a video that I got a lot of a lot of them in, in one box and um, so the first one is is um <laughs> is uh, is um I've forgotten the name of them now. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Doris Day Doris Day had to go. Had to go. I've got one still that I really like of Doris Day, which is from the film that she that she made the uh, the whip crack away whip crack away whip crack away <laughs> film. I can't remember the name of it. Dead Rock, Dead Rock, Dead Rock. Deadlock City, Deadlock something, I don't know. It was something like that. You know what my memory's like. It's absolutely rubbish. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> they had to go. And there was a few, quite a few of them. There was probably there was probably about 50, 50 of them I had all together. I found them in one big lump. I found loads, loads of them in, in the stack attacks and stuff like that. And I just bunged them all together in a box. And I thought... Now nah, they've got to go because I just don't need them. I don't need them. I don't listen to them. Apart from that one, which I keep. I keep. Well, I've got about three copies of that now, actually. I need to find out which is the best copy, really. But I'll probably keep a spare just in case, you know. <laughs> apparently, apparently I got told off. I got told off for being too flamboyant with my 78. Whoa, like this. I got told off again by Mr. Porter. Mr. Porter is a very serious man. Very serious man. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, the first artist that went was Doris Day. And I know that a lot of you are gonna say, oh well, you know, and then some some a few of you are gonna go, ooh, you know. The second artist, bigger artist probably, was Frank Sinatra. I had a load of thanks, I had probably about sixty or seventy Frank Sinatras that I just again I won't listen to it. Now, that's not to say I don't like Frank Sinatra. I do like his classics, you know. I do. I've, I got some albums, some vinyl albums, and that. So I have got music of Frank Sinatra, but not in seventy-eight form. I just didn't want it. Uh, I just wasn't going to listen to it. And I, I, my whole idea is to collect jazz that I really, really love. I like, and and uh, just, just for me, I just love it. And and I need to make the space. I need to make the space because I want to eventually get another uh get another job lot in. You know, we've had the we've had the three thousand, we had the seven fifty, we had the two two hundred, we had the seven fifty. I wouldn't mind another, you know, another one. How about a thousand? The thousand. 
We've got to get that yet, haven't we? <laughs> so yes, they went. And that included the probably more sought after, I believe, Columbia labels. There was quite a few of them <laughs> as well. And they, I just put them all together. Oh, well, boof, out they went. So that's that's probably the the bad the bad news for some some of you, uh, but I never played it. I never uploaded it, so it doesn't really make no difference, does it? Does it? No, of course it doesn't. Um, there's loads of that material out there anyway. In the seventy eight, uh, in the world of seventy eight, so you can go and find Doris Day's Franks and Archers. They just pop up all over the place, so it's not a big loss. And it, and somebody else has now got them who's going to enjoy them and 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 play them and and they deserve to be played not just sitting on shelves that's a waste of time isn't it anyway that's the big bad news um the other thing i was I want to quickly say was uh that i wanted to do more um i do want to do more uh, late night listenings i know they were they were fairly popular uh and i've got some i've just done a stack attack a little while ago and i need to photograph the labels because i'm not doing the way i used to do it anymore i just put the labels up on there but it takes time it's time consuming i also have had a quite a few people asking me uh, or saying uh, about my gramophone player and how well it sounds i get a lot of people saying oh your gramophone player sounds really really cool uh, and the reason is this is why i record the gramophone player and i want to do a video on that as well the best way to record from your gramophone player, especially the 102s or the 101s, you know, or even the old Deckers and that. I don't know, I don't know the serial numbers of Deckers and that because I, I'm not into them, but it's, it still will be the best way to do it. Um, so I might do a video on that coming up at some point. Uh, I need to actually record stuff on the computer as well to show you what I mean, as well as show you some bit of kit as well and something like that. I think I've, tr I've sort of said stuff about it before but I've not probably been very clear so I will try and do that I'll try and be clearer and show you exactly what I do uh, I don't want people thinking that I, I'm using um, uh, filtering software or anything like that I'm sure I don't I don't I don't I don't do it on here either <laughs> but I do play when I do play, I do transform it into mono because it's got a stereo cartridge and I'm not going to pay out for a mono cartridge when I can easily just go into editing and just make it mono. And that kicks out some of the uh, pops and the scratches and the clicks and, the you know, if you put it into mono rather than have it left in stereo. Because then you'll get the stereo effect of the clicks and the pops. That will be in stereo, the clicks and the pops. That will be in stereo, even though the record's in mono. The clicks and the pops will be in stereo. So if you if you put it into mono, if you just take both tracks and just put them into a single track, that'll be mono, you'll get rid of the clicks and pops. Uh well not rid of them completely. You'll just get you'll you'll reduce it. You'll reduce it probably by fifty percent, I would say. Uh or, or near enough. Right, anyway, that was the bad news. This is just an update. This is me in my shed. Going to be having a bit of a, more of a listen. Uh, would like to know what sort of videos you you prefer uh, at some point. So I might try and put up a, one of those things where you can vote, you know. But it won't stop me doing what I want to do. <laughs> it won't, it won't. <laughs> mm. Thanks for watching this. this is an update. If you've watched this update vlog, good on you. And I'll see you again soon. Uh I don't know what with yet. Probably another play or two and then and then some uh some some a late night. I'll try and get the late night listening sorted out. I might even try and do one this weekend so I've got all the week to edit it and get it up to you for next week. Right, bye for now. Take care of yourselves. Look after yourselves and enjoy your music. Bye for now.